What's up guys? I hope you're having a sparkling day. In one of my previous video, I think it's the Q&A video, I told you that it is sometimes very difficult for us to eat on the road. But today, I want to show you how we do it. Come with me. This is our kitchen setup. Uh, it's pretty much everything that you need in a kitchen in just uh, this box right here. It's our friend Robert, shout out to Robert, who um, helped us made it. He actually made pretty much all of it. Anyway, it is actually very easy to open and to use it. You just have to remove few locks that are around the kitchen. So this one right here, this one, right here so you just have to unlock it and then you open those two and you flip the board so then you have all this space to work i really like it you also have this space right here and those are storage and you have uh, our plate our bowl you have some spices and you have what i use the most when we are on the road my tupperware Yay! And in the middle of uh, the place I work and the place for the storage, we have a two burner stove right here. So usually I just move it a little bit and I just, this is for the gas. So I just put it out, make sure that all of this is outside. I move it a little bit forward again and then I just open it adjust it and it's ready to roll but if you are used to those kind of stuff you know that I didn't plug any uh, bottle of gas so actually it's not ready to roll <laughs> I have to put some gas so you just put this thing in a small hole and my boyfriend taught me how to do it. So here we go. And then you open it right here. And that's it. So the question that you all have in your mouth is what are we going to eat today? And the answer is I absolutely don't know. So let's see a little bit more what we have here we have some vegetables right here all this one uh, we might have some chicken as well in the kitchen let me check yes so we have uh, some chicken we have some mushroom as well oh so maybe some mushroom I want to eat some mushroom um, some chicken and um, I think maybe some rice so let's let's check this out so we have some carrots apples dark chocolate kitty food um, oh here oh no it's not the rice that I want here and some brown rice Okay, so I think I'm gonna make some like um, chicken mushroom rice, maybe with a little bit of, um, how do you call it? Zucchini. Oh, with a little bit of zucchini. Um, a lot of spice, I love spices. So my favorite recipe it's something that I kind of uh, made up myself. It's pretty much putting everything uh, into a casserole and just uh, let it stay there and cook all uh, together. So to do so, I usually use um, our casserole, this one. 
So I start with uh, the rice. So I measure the quantity of rice that I want and then I make sure to remember that it goes all the way up here and then I put it in the casserole and then I remember that the water went all the way up here so I have at least to put in the rice as much water as I have rices so now we put some water so something like like this but I usually go and put some more <laughs> So that's it for the rice, um, but before I put the fire on, I have to prepare all the other ingredients because everything will be inside and cooking at the same time. So first, uh, the zucchini. So I just um, do this, just to get rid a little bit of the skin of the zucchini and then I cut it. Um, usually I don't cut it like very nicely because it will go inside and cook with everything else so I try to just keep it a little bit thin but either way it's good and I also want to put some mushroom so what I like to do I mean, I saw my mom doing that like forever, so I don't know, I think I have to do the same. It's just to remove the skin as well. Um, I don't know, I, I feel like this is something I have to do. My mom um, does it, so <laughs> I just do like my mom does. And when you do so, I just cut the end of the mushroom and then... Um, I don't know, for this recipe, I just want to cut them in four like this and put it there. Okay, and before I put the chicken in it, I want to uh, start the fire so it can start to cook before I put the chicken in it. And this is the scariest part for me because I have to light the lighter and do the stuff here. And I'm very scared of it, I don't know always a huge moment for me so I have to open the gas and ah, okay it's good <laughs> okay so I'm just gonna leave it like this put back the lighter in the drawer and now I can prepare the chicken so usually for the chicken what I do is I obviously take, take the chicken And I want to cut it uh, in small piece, like the smallest I can, because I want it to be really well cooked, like this. And because I feel like it's uh, better when it's very like small pieces of bread, uh, <laughs> small pieces of chicken, sorry. <laughs> Okay, so just like this. And also when it starts to cook, I usually add some spices. Um, I'm looking for the cubo. Ah. So I usually... Ah, I only have one left. Oh no, two left. Okay, so one more to go. So I usually uh, put, uh, this is what we call Cubo from the brand Magi. Um, it's a little bit of uh, salt and some spices to add some flavor to the recipe. And I like to put it um, like in the very beginning because then everything will be, will be cooked with this flavor. So it's a very good start. And right now it just sit on top, but I will mix it to make sure that it is in contact with uh, the water. So just like this, and it dissolves itself. 
with hot water so you just have to leave it here and it will do the trick itself and what I also like to do with the same uh, thinking is putting some uh, spices but just a little bit so I'm gonna put uh, cajun uh, perfect for chicken and beef I actually put everything every spices that I found in the bowl because I like spices and this is only the beginning which is quite scary when you think about it because I usually like empty one bottle per uh, lunch so if you don't like spices don't eat my food shit and then I just um, mix everything together and I let it sit for a minute it's <laughs> funny the story about spices it's something that I don't know I I always remember like my aunt and my mom always putting some stuff um, and my grandpa like my grandpa when he was doing a recipe he just like grab a lot of stuff and put them into the casserole or the the flavor and he just put everything in and it's always delicious so I don't know I feel like I have this type of cooking like I just grab everything that I found and I put them in and I cross my finger that it tastes good sometimes uh, <laughs> Jordan is quite happy with the food that I uh, <laughs> give him and sometimes it's a little bit more like a big mess uh, <laughs> But that's I think that's the joy of it. Like I don't know if it's gonna be good or not I just enjoy doing it and then I cross my fingers. So cross your finger for this one. I hope it will be good So I finish with the chicken This is pretty much how I like it and I just put it inside the bowl and so this is something quite important for me is to make sure that the chicken is at the bottom so it get cooked um, like first or kind of first because I don't want to have like my raw chicken touching my raw vegetables. I think this is like something in my head but I prefer to have it like that. So I try to put all the chicken at the bottom of the casserole to make sure that everything is underwater and the last thing for this recipe is to actually cover everything with water like this yeah. because so you have the rice you have mushroom you have zucchini and you have chicken and you want to make sure that everything is well done and well cooked and you also want to just leave it here and sit for a minute but before you just leave everything this is my favorite part of the recipe I already told you spices spices everywhere spices what do you want spices what do you think spices what do you want <laughs> spices so usually what I do is I start with um, some pepper uh, I am very very lucky because my boyfriend loves loves pepper as much as I do so I can actually put uh, pretty much pepper everywhere which is very very nice so let's go for the pepper like no worries okay no uh, stomachs will be hurt by my food or uh, I hope it will not be hurt um, so yeah I just start with paper but I always leave it outside because this is only the first row so leave it outside and then some salt just to have a little bit of taste like this and after that I just like look at my spices drawer and I don't know I make some choices like okay some cajas again and And what I also like is um, this one so I think it's for like 
grilled um, food. I actually don't know because it's written in like in Sweden, in Finland, and in Norwegian, which is none of the language that I talk. So I just go like this. Uh, I usually also want to add a little bit of um, pira pira undi mind sesusu giwu. Okay, so if you speak some of the language that I'm completely butchering, uh, please forgive me. And that's it. And no, a little bit no. Okay, so that's it for now. I'm just gonna mix everything and just uh, let it sit for about like 20 to half an hour. I just make sure that the rice is well done and well cooked because uh, I used to make some like crispy rice, <laughs> but for some reason Jordan doesn't like it. So I don't know why, but <laughs> now I try to improve my uh, rice cooking. And also because my father would be very, very upset if I serve him some not well done cooked rice. <laughs> so I have to improve my, my rice um, game. So I'm just gonna mix everything to make sure that like the water is um, filled with all the spices like this I make sure that everything is like under the water like this and then I put the cover and that's it so now we just have to wait I told you about 20 minutes and then we will see if it's good or not Okay, so now I think it's uh, quite good. So this is how it looks. Uh, it looks well done and well cooked. So I'm just gonna stop the fire. And so it's already ready to eat. But um, so usually what I do is uh, when I cook uh, for the night meal, I just a little bit more so I can put some into the tupperware for the lunch the day after so this is what I'm gonna do I'm just packing up some food for the day after and <laughs> usually I do a much bigger tupperware for Jordan than mine And the rest of it, we just eat it uh, like this for our dinner. So, yeah, this is. <laughs> and the funny thing is that I never finish my food. So, even though, like right here, I feel like, oh, this is enough, this is good, it's actually, <laughs> most of the time, it's actually too much. So, <laughs> Jordan has like a double meal. And so this is for us today and that's pretty much it. Of course I will put the recipe in the description down below but the funny thing and the best thing about the this way of cooking is that you can actually made you can actually make everything you want like for example uh, for this uh, food I use zucchini and mushroom but if I want I can use eggplants I can use carrots onion uh, I use also chicken but you can use a red um, red meat you can use a fish it's very simple you just have to like uh, add some stuff together just let them sit and cook all together and well for my taste i use a lot of spices but you can of, of course just like put um salt and pepper and it's very fine and then it's uh, very easy you just wait and you can eat so for this one the recipe description down below but then you can uh, make your own and you can tag me i want to see how you do it so that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to follow my adventure, you can subscribe to this channel. You can also check my Instagram account and my Facebook page. Thank you guys for watching and see you soon. Mm, it tastes so good. <laughs>